Today's conference is hosted by Cambridge Assessment on behalf of the four Cambridge Mathematics partners, ourselves, Cambridge University Press, the University of Cambridge Faculty of Education, and the University of Cambridge Faculty of Mathematics. My name is Bennett Steinberg, Group Director of Public Affairs at Cambridge Assessment, and today's Director of Operations, so it's all my fault if it doesn't work. A few housekeeping points first. We're not expecting a fire bell, so any alarm will be real. The alert signal is a single pulsating tone. While the tone remains the same, it is safe to remain where you are. The evacuate signal is a two-tone warble. If this sounds, we must leave via the nearest fire exit, and they're at each corner of the auditorium and the foyer. Do not attempt to use the lift, and try and take your, or try and take your belongings with you during the evacuation. Stay calm and walk straight to the nearest exit, and go to assembly point one, the Poets' Circle, that's the round theatre, in the piazza to await further instructions. On to the event itself. Firstly, we have a number of distinguished speakers to hear and good time for discussion. But it is a packed programme and I give fair warning to everybody. All the chairs in all the sessions will be rigorous and they will cut people off if they think they've made their point already. And that includes the speakers. Secondly, we are filming the day and broadcasting it on the web live. So please ignore the cameras, but make sure if you're asked to speak that you wait for a microphone to arrive in front of you and stand up so the cameras can see you. Keep the mic close to your lips and start by stating your name and where you work. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, thirdly, I encourage you to use your smartphone, tablet or laptop in silent or vibrate mode, please to tweet. You can also Twitter comment and submit questions which will be picked up and fed into the discussion. You can tweet us at Cambridge Maths using hashtag CamMaths. I will ask all of our speakers to turn their phones completely off while they're up here because it will disrupt the sound. So we're joined by experts today both on the platform and in the room from all the disciplines that make up Cambridge Mathematics. Those who know about frameworks, and professional development, those who know about resources and assessment. We're also joined by practicing educationalists with their own expertise from different countries by video link. So I'd like you to welcome these delegates overseas. Joining us now at around 12 o'clock their time is a group from Cairo, Egypt. Michael O'Sullivan, the chief executive of our international exam board, will introduce us to the Egyptian conference delegates and then they'll give us a flavor of maths as it is taught there. Michael. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Michael, and I'm here in Cairo. As you can see, I, I have next to me and behind me uh, some of the top mathematics teachers from schools here in Egypt. I'd just like to invite Dr. Magdi Tadros of the British School of Egypt to say a few words about the Egyptian context. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you today uh, to talk about mathematics and to represent my country uh, in this uh, valuable conference. So first of all, I would like to talk about the Egyptian culture in uh, studying mathematics. In Egypt here, we are so much addicted on studying mathematics, so mathematics is very important to us, even if we uh, fail uh, to achieve the A star, they keep trying and trying and trying and they achieve it. So it's very, very important. B for us here is a failure. So um, I'll, I'll try to, um, uh, to talk about the importance of mathematics. However, it is also integrated for all, every other subject. It's a challenging subject that pre uh, prepare and base everyone for studying physics, chemistry, and biology. Even if they face a lot of uh, stuff like logarithm and uh, uh, statistics uh, in chemistry and biology as well as as well as a lot of topics in physics as well. Uh, for Cambridge mathematics especially we can see that it's very challenging. We can see that all topics are serving our students as performance in every other subject and qualify them to go to universities with very well based students. They shine like star in universities in Egypt and all over the world when they study the A-level mathematics in Cambridge University. 
So we have a lot of things to talk about. First, the O level. The O level IGCSE is a very challenging subject, especially after they change the exams. I believe it's gone, in, it's gone like uh, pushing them to the value that they like to study for AS and A level uh, mathematics. AS and A level mathematics is the most A level studied by the Egyptians here. So last year we had 1,079 students studying A level mathematics in Egypt, where we had 1,851 studied the O level mathematics. So you can see the ratio that more than 50% uh, or 60% who studied O level Cambridge, they went for the A level. So it's a very important ratio. They are um, aware that mathematics is one of the most qualifying subject to most of the universities all over the world. But on the other hand, sometimes they, fe they face some difficulties, especially at, mathematics, at mechanics. So they consider the mechanics is a little, little bit challenged because of the timing of the exam. So we can reconsider uh, and uh, search for a solution for this together, maybe today, as we are all uh, talking about it. Uh, thank you for, that, uh, for the time you were giving me, um, and thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome, Egypt. Uh, also joining us for the UK's morning session, in the same time zone as Cairo, is a group from Johannesburg. Um, I believe it's Mark Barber, Cambridge International Senior Schools Development Manager for Sub-Saharan Africa, will introduce us to the South African Conference delegates. Mark. Actually, um, it's Juan Fissa, the Regional Director for Sub-Saharan Africa, starting off. Mark will join me shortly. Everyone, good morning. Goeiemora Sambonane. We're calling in from a very sunny Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm going to hand you over to Mark Barber to introduce our panel. Mark. Thank you and good morning. We're joined by nine delegates who are principals and math specialists from four of South Africa's top performing Cambridge schools. Uh, El Shaddai Christian School in Cape Town, St John's College, Johannesburg, Alma Mater and British International College also from Johannesburg. Between them, they have substantial experience and knowledge of maths teaching in South Africa and internationally, and were among the first schools to successfully introduce the Cambridge curriculum into the South African market, growing it to the level of success it enjoys today. May I introduce Lynn Budge of El Shaddai Christian School, Cape Town, to briefly introduce the key features and challenges of maths education as agreed on by our delegates this morning. Yes, good morning, and firstly, thank you to Cambridge, and on behalf of us, for the privilege of actually just coming and, and uh, having an input here. Um, it's actually interesting to listen to Egypt because unlike Egypt, mathematics is not a priority. In fact, few and fewer of our state uh, students are taking mathematics and we're finding that, that uh, our, 